so here's the thing. Detection-based technology tells you about known indicators of compromise on your network. Someone connected on a public IP address. There's a lot of invalid logins. There's um, Mimi Cats running, and we know this is Mimi Cats. But what about all the stuff that it doesn't know? But what we wanted to do was people came to us and said, hey, I've got these EDRs, and since we've implemented Threat Locker, I've got zero alerts, which is great, because you can't get an alert if they can't get onto your machine. You can't get an alert if your ports are closed. But they still have to have EDR. So we got customers saying we want EDR, but I was like, well, EDR by itself is kind of disappointing. So we created this idea of EDR and detection-based policies, but integrating with other components. So think about this. Let's just say somebody writes 500 files in a row. Would you say that's suspicious? Probably. And if you've got an EDR, a good EDR, it will tell you someone just wrote 500 files on your network. Maybe it's ransomware. But it won't block it. I mean, maybe it kills the process if it's suspicious. If it's a good process, it's probably not going to do that. With ThreatLocker, we can automatically integrate with all of the other products to enable policies. So you could say, if there are 200 invalid logins, disable RDP ports. If there are 500 files or 200 files or 50 files, enable a storage policy to stop writes on the environment. And this is what we've done over the last five years to make things more complete and more advanced. But in between all of these, there was a million enhancements.